start things off on the ground. And if coaches wanted to be creative, we saw two straight running plays. He gets hit as he delivered and nearly picked off. But BYU brings a lot of extra guys here. They want to get the heat on Andrew Manley. He gets the ball. It was three and out on their first possession of the game. They keep it on the ground, and again it is and backed inside their own 20. Manley with time to his big tight end. Has not given up much this afternoon. Low snap. He's got time. To the gut of this huge defense. First first down for the Aggies. What would you say for the Cougars? They bring some pressure. He gets the pass off in and out of it. Pressure from Van Noy. He gets the pass off. 2.41 left first quarter. Morrison finds a hole this time. Mark for Jeremy Morrison. Gets his name called again off of the right side. With the BYU Kingers. Mainly again with time. First and ten. They keep it on the ground, stay conservative, and why not? Morrison has responded. Fine. Hazards of the profession. Second and one. Here, first and goal. Franklin in motion. Inside the ten. They give it to Powell. And he is stopped. Manley hit as he throws it and nearly blows through the line of scrimmage. Andrew Manley barely gets the ball off and he's already diagnosed a bunch of their tendencies and understands what they want to do offensively. Second and ten and a nice and they have come up with a nice game plan. Third and two. Handoff and this is going nowhere. Tripping the ball through the air. They come back run after a run. And Kyle Van Hoy gets inside the tackle just too quickly, creates that. So 2.38 to go in the first half. And it is Morrison who keeps the ball on the ground. Nice variety of run and pass. Morrison 11 carries for 56 yards. Pass is complete. Scoggins having a career at Colwell, the sophomore from Texas. Now that may have been a ploy just to kind of uh, fool us as well. Receiving on the season. Third and four. Pressure on Manley. He escapes it, and now he gets taken down. And that is Ziggy Ansah. Now, great protection all around. But it was it's max protection, right Peter. That means they only had two guys out in routes. And when those two guys didn't get open, it was just a matter of time. Well, again, I said this is max protection. You've only got two guys out in the routes, and Manley's, he wanted to run up there. He didn't have far to go to get the first down, and he just gets pinned in, and I think instead of taking a big hit from a very big man, he... Manley 7 of 12 in the first half. They start things off in the third quarter. The play action, and in and out of the hand. Fake right here. Run fake. Little mini rollout. You have to make that throw. Second and ten for the Aggies. Scoggins in motion. They keep it on the ground. And out into a wheel route up the field. Franklin and Bateman so far only combined three catches. They go to Bateman. He really hit him. Really put it where it needed to be. Aggies now four for eight. That would have been pretty demoralizing. So the drive continues. It's first and ten. Just inside the 40. They fake the reverse. Manley with time. Here comes Ziggy. And the pass is way long. Go for it. Second and five. Franklin in motion. Somebody in the backfield. That was Van Noy. But this is great. Here it is. Pow. Just if he takes another angle. Scoggins again in motion. Three wide receivers split out left to Manley. And he looks that way. Goes over the middle to his big tight end. And nice offense. Third and ten. Still in the 25. Manley. Pressure. Flushed out. And Van Noy with the sack. Manley to throw. 
Texas State. So they will be an in, in, independent team next year, along with BYU, Notre Dame, Army, Navy. You know, I'm thinking a lot of the throws today might be a function of you never know how well a rib is fully healed. Uh, Down at eight. Clock continues to run. Now the Aggies are going to pass. And that one is picked off. No. Yep, minus five for the Cougars, minus 14 for the Aggies. Third and seven. That pass might.